everybody. I didn't do a good morning because I have a really bad cough and a sore throat. So I've been in bed all day <coughs> just loading myself with medication because nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to stop me from going on this ghost hunt. And I cannot be coughing in the middle of a ghost investigation. So. I slept a lot, took lots and lots and lots of medication today, so right now is my good morning, and it's what, like 7.30 at night, so ah, normally we're uploading by now, but oh well. So anyway, just checking for some comments and for, for some shout outs and whatnot, and Kevin's home, so he's filming me right now, and we're going to be filming this. The mess. <laughs> we are starting to get all of our ghost hunting equipment together for our trip to... Someplace. I tell Someplace you. Someplace ghostly. <laughs> and uh, we should actually consider... Packing some clothes, too. <coughs> I'm doing laundry. <coughs> <coughs> Is that something we haven't thought of? I don't know what type of clothes we need to bring, so we need to check weather reports. Well, weather report says that it's in the 70s. So I checked that today. Up uh, there. Yes, and, but it does get down into the 50s, which is cold for me, but not necessarily for you. I'll still be walking around in shorts. All right, so I'm going to probably be... I'm going to probably be packing some warmer clothes than Val is, <laughs> so, and, uh, but she's not feeling well, so she may end up getting a chill. You might consider that. Well, I will put some light, like, yoga pants in or something, you know. Um, I definitely don't want to wear my flip-flops while we're doing the ghost investigation. I want to wear my sneakers. Um... So where I'm not walking and going, you hear the flip flops of me walking. Everything needs to be perfect on this investigation because it is the biggest investigation we've done. We've ever done. So, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, yes, we did a whole ghost tour back in 2005, which we are still going to be posting those videos at some point for you guys. But this is a single location that we are investigating that is I don't know how to say it but it's the biggest most exciting thing we've done and I, I just I can't wait to get there we don't think Freckles is feeling too well today it kind of worries me to leave him but well we're gonna leave him in good hands so I you're know. not gonna be left alone I know but with all his medical issues right now. Yeah. We need to talk about uh, probably getting that, that one medication that he stopped. It seemed like when he, he was doing well on that one medication when we ran out, and we were told that it, to just take it until it's done. And I'm assuming that's because it was a uh, antibiotic. No, it wasn't an antibiotic. So, because when we ran out of it, Nick, um, uh, Raquel said get more. And we need to call the doctor because he seemed to be doing better when he was taking that. And uh, he ha doesn't seem to be doing so well right now. A lot of hacking. More hacking than usual. More hacking and, and he just seems Leth very... Lethargic today. Lethargic, yeah. So he's got all this stuff all over the bed that he's going to be testing. <laughs> he, really? Of course. His vest of many pockets. That's what... He embarrassed Megan so bad when he wore this thing. She just doesn't like it, but, you know, this is going to be a ghost town. I need to have stuff at the ready here, just like, uh, in, uh, just like, uh, Aaron. Because Aaron's the photographer. This he wears a photographer's jacket. Okay. Which going Let, to have. Let's show. It's got a pocket here. It's got a pocket here. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's got a big, like, pouch pocket here. And a side pocket. And it's got an inside pocket. 
And, and it's got a pocket here and a double pocket here. And then, oh, it's even on zippers here. So it's got a bigger pocket on both sides yeah. there. Okay. And then turn around. This, this pocket's for Scooby Snacks. <laughs> and it's got a big... Oh, I do remember this one because Megan liked to put her water bottles back I here. I know. She complained, but it was always me that she... She threw it's stuff big, into you. Big one back here. Yeah. And that's so. so, yeah. That that's going to come in handy when we are ghost hunting. Of course it is. Because well, look at all the stuff that we have to have. You know, first of all, we have to make sure all of our flashlights have batteries. Um, and batteries is going to be a big issue. It's always a big issue. Um, if you watch any of the ghost shows, you know that um, batteries tend to drain when there's uh, some sort of uh, spirit uh, available. We, however, are on a budget, and these, these batteries are expensive. So I am sitting here with my battery tester, making sure that all the batteries that are here work so that we know we have functioning batteries before we get started and making sure that we have batteries for everything so as I said we have to have batteries we want to have uh, there's going to be four of us at least so we're going to have to have at least four working uh, flashlights and we're, some extras just in case others die everything else takes batteries we have to charge these these are the ones that go to the cameras and we do have four cameras that we're going to be using three of them have night shot one of them is just a regular camera we want to make sure we have everything covered. So everything needs to be charged because we can't have one die on us. We only have one camera that will actually run on AC power, and that's the ancient one. So, and since we, for interviews, we're going to need our, our, uh, our good panel light, and this panel light actually will use all of these batteries, so hopefully it won't use them all up. Um, we have our second... HD camera, which is also a night shot. We uh, this uh, this little one, just a, as you know, it's great for me to have in my pocket, so I have an extra camera. Yeah, spirit box. Spirit the speaker for the spirit box. This is actually another camera, just in case. Also has batteries. This is our um, illuminator. A, uh, IR illuminator takes batteries so and that's basically what I'm doing making sure we have everything and batteries to run it all I'm not going to leave any batteries in anything uh, just in case there's some sort of leakage or whatever but um, and that's it starting with our uh, our thermometer this is a, uh, a non-contact infrared thermometer um, we do have motion detectors I don't know if we're going to be using these or not because they are annoying we have three different um, electromagnetic field detectors or EMF detectors. Um, the uh, K2, which um, we'll probably be using a great deal of. The, this is the most accurate of them. And a, a third one, since uh, there's going to be four of us, we could, uh, we could go around in different directions. Definitely three, possibly four. Okay. We have... Um, our old Hi-8, which I think we're probably going to uh, put on a tripod and uh, leave in a room to uh, do videotape. Uh, we have, uh, we are actually going to be in a forest. And those of you who have been paying attention to clues might notice that there's a lake involved, there's a forest involved. Um, Yes, John Wayne stayed there. He didn't figure that one out. Um, so I have a, um, a night owl night vision scope so that we could see if we uh, are investigating outside of the you could see it. This has a longer uh, uh, field of range than the uh, IR cameras. For EVPs, electronic voice phenomena, we have a, a digital voice recorder. And I finally got the software for the computer to, to work that. Yay! Yay! So, Kevin said we're going to do Twitters and Instagrams. 
We are going to have two Twitter accounts going, The Neighbors 130 and Kevin's personal Twitter, which is KevinSelt59. I will be posting to The Neighbors, Kevin will be posting to his. So you guys can follow along on both of those. Obviously, we're not going to be posting the same exact things, so you can follow both and get a better idea of everything that's going on. We're not only going to post just during the ghost hunt. We're going to post the entire time, So, because we're not going to be ghost hunting the entire time we're gone, but there's other things that are going to be going on that we're going to enjoy and have some fun, and we're going to include all you guys in on that as well. And then on my personal Instagram, Kevin's personal Instagram, and Megan's personal Instagram, we will be posting to them as well. And all that information is on our YouTube site. I will update that again on there tonight to let you all know that. Don't worry, Daryl. You're coming with me. I can't sleep without you. Oh, great. <laughs> And, and just in case we run into any zombies, we gotta have Daryl with his crossbow. Uh, yes, dear. How am I supposed to go to bed? I don't know. I can't get it's on my problem. side of the bed. It's not your problem. And I have another question. I have another battery. It hasn't been charged yet. Okay. Um, I, you made me lose my train of thought. You know my mind doesn't work. Did I derail the crazy train? Hey, everybody. <coughs> you say it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's time for Val the Cock. He's me. <laughs> I've been coughing all night and all day. And he's picking on me. Not me. Yeah, you. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of shout outs to do. And I might be losing my voice. I might not be able to do shout outs. I might have to do whisper outs. <laughs> um, Daphne Sheehan, I think it was, wanted us to go take check out a story about a haunted house on Facebook. And I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But I have the website right here and I am going to go do that. And I wanted to give a great big shout out to a very special friend of mine, Whitney Broderson. Broderson. Keep on vlogging, Whitney. It does take a lot of courage to do it, girl, and you are doing a great job. So thumbs up to you. Go check it out. And everybody go by and check her out and uh, subscribe and give her a thumbs up. So... It's really the only shout out I have, but wanted to touch base a little bit before I get to the neighborhood community shout outs and uh, let everybody know that we, the neighbors, us, are not going to be uploading a vlog the, six, the 7th, 8th, or 9th of this month. That's because, tomorrow? Yes. In the next two days. So it'll be up, this one will be up tomorrow. <laughs> And then uh, probably be one up on Sunday morning. The 10th. Yeah. But it won't be the ghost hunt will not be up on the 10th. Just some of our activities will be up on the 10th because we have to take our time to go through the evidence um, and prepare the actual vlog for the ghost hunt before we can publish that. Um, but our... Art director Jack Adams has offered to do some vlogging for us while we are gone. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Jack. So he is going to do his best to publish a vlog on the 8th, 9th, and 10th 
No, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Seventh, eighth, and ninth while we are gone. So, still go by our channel, take a look, check out what Jack puts up. I'm sure he's going to do a great job with what he does, and uh, hopefully, uh, we hopefully. just been photo video bomb. It was a drive-by. Uh, we... I, I, I've totally lost my train of thought. Megan threw me totally off track here. Anyway, go by. <laughs> anyway, go by and check out the vlogs that Jack puts up. I'm sure he's going to do a great job. Thanks a lot, Jack. We really appreciate that. I'm very excited about this, um, this investigation. So, um, what... What do you think? Do you think we're going to find anything? Well, I hope so. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel encouraged. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be neat. Um, we are um, actually staying in the haunted room. Where the so. person actually died. We're not saying who the person is or anything like that because we still have... One more clue to go up for you guys for tomorrow. It has not been a, a, a negative haunting. It's, uh, it's been a, um, uh, a positive and playful kind of haunting. Just interesting things going on. Uh, reported uh, for a lot of years, apparently. It's never been investigated by any of the big groups. Mm -hmm. So this will be, uh, this will be pretty cool. I'm, we got a turkey in the kitchen. I am very excited about it. And, and <laughs> and so is Megan. <laughs> Megan, come here real quick. Uh -uh. Uh, give us your input on the uh, uh, on on the ghost hunt. Are you kind of excited or? Ghosts are scary. <laughs> <laughs> are you afraid? Are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm going to end up getting freaked out, and then I'm not going to be able to sleep, and then I'm going to be mad. <laughs> well, say that to the camera. Not I'm going to end up getting freaked out, and then not being able to sleep, and then being mad. There we go. That'll be fun. <laughs> That'll be fun to videotape. I'm going to have to bring cartoons to watch to make me feel better. Okay. I started yesterday, so you... No, uh-uh-uh. You did that. You, you, no, and can you say it? Because my throat is killing me. All of them? No, this. Oh, well, it's time for the neighborhood community shout out. Okay, you start. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Lucy Blue Bones. Daniel Scott. Uh, Christopher Trachel. Clay Bat with usernames. Selena G. Love 47, also known as Brian. <laughs> Tom Show. Rex 25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana B. Saw. Beauty Queen 12. Marin Brenda Smith. <laughs> Daphne Sheehan. And Lucy and Autumn. Samantha L. <laughs> Domestic Goddess. Alien K. 18, also known as Kimmy. Destiny Hall. Sammy Anir. The Abyss, 92882. Meet the Presleys. Hey there, Sarah. Charlena uh, Higgins. Higdon. Skyler, Shaden, Shaylee. Sh oh boy, you really. Wait, Skyler, Chantel, Shaylee, and Shaden. And Ground Dome. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it wasn't for all of you. Thank you. We love you all. Thumbs Goodbye, up. Goodbye, farewell, I bid you all adieu. And we'll see you tomorrow.